What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. In today's video, I'm going to be going over Tezos and running over my big picture analysis on what's going to happen on the prices for Tezos as we progress throughout the bull market. I will also be going into a little bit about the short term on Bitcoin, uh, mainly just running over this little panic selling that we're seeing on the smaller time frames and discussing my thoughts on that. So it's gonna be a really awesome video. If you're new to my channel, you can always go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get more content like this on a regular basis. Also, you can comment down below if you have any suggestions for coins because Tezos is actually one somebody suggested to me on my Twitter. So I'm more than happy to run over these coins. Tezo is also one I've been talking about a long time on my channel. I started talking about it pretty consistently in 2020. And so I'm very happy to be updating you guys on the price action coming in this coin today. Without further ado, let's get straight into today's analysis. So we're gonna be starting off with Tezos here and the very first thing I'd like to point out to you guys is that we have this expanding triangle pattern. Basically meaning that the market is moving inside of an uptrend. However, we can see that this uptrend has resistance and support and the support and resistance is defined by a triangle pattern. Every single support level and every single resistance level is either a higher low for support or a higher high for resistance. So that's what forms this triangle structure that we are seeing here on Tezos. This is important to note because this is a very, very common accumulation pattern. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share with you a very, very, very important fractal. Fractal meaning pattern or market cycle that happened on a different coin that is actually happening on Tezos now. So you can actually take some of the market cycles that you've seen in the past and you can take a current market cycle that you're seeing today, align those two up and then begin to see what's going to happen on the current one that you're looking at. So let's go ahead and do that. It's very easy. I do have TradingView Pro. You can do this without TradingView Pro. So I'll show you a little bit of both. But first of all, with TradingView Pro, the way you do it is you add two charts, one on the top and one on the bottom. And then on the chart on the bottom, you add the market cycle of whatever you're trying to compare to the market cycle that you've seen now. I'm using Litecoin. Some people messaged me after I posted this on my Twitter and said, Dallin, why are you using Litecoin? Uh, Litecoin isn't Litecoin overvalued right now. Why are you comparing Litecoin to Tezos? This is a terrible comparison. Again, market cycles are fractal in nature. And I'm also comparing a point of Litecoin when Litecoin was undervalued, when it went into an overvalued phase. So I'm comparing an older point of Litecoin than when we're at today. Now, to respond to the person that commented and asked me about that, I actually am still bullish on Litecoin, which you probably won't want me to hear, or you won't want to hear me say, uh, but it's mainly because of five waves up and a very clear correction, I think Litecoin is gonna see a reversal here. So I do disagree with you that Litecoin is, uh, is overvalued currently, but just so you understand, I was comparing a point in Litecoin previously when it was undervalued right here before going into overvaluation. So we're going to do the same thing with Tezos here. Tezos on the top, Litecoin on the bottom. And you can see that once we kind of expand out here, we need to get into a higher time frame with Tezos. Let's go out to the weekly time frame. And now you can probably start to see what I'm talking about. The other thing when you're comparing fractals or market cycles, 
because really every fractal that I'm comparing is a Marcus cycle, right? That's, it's just kind of like two different words for the same pattern. But when you're comparing them, what you're looking for is the fact that they rhyme, not the fact that they're perfectly identical. You can see here there's subtle differences in Marcus structure. We have two corrections right here. Litecoin had one big correction right here and mainly a lot of little corrections back there, whereas this one had two. Does that mean that they're not the same? No. That means that they rhyme with each other. They don't have to be perfectly identical for the same type of thing to be happening. Also, you can see we have increasing volume and increasing price on Tezos. Rising price, rising volume, and then look here on Litecoin, we also have rising price, rising volume. So that's very typical of this structure. And of course, Litecoin was in an expanding triangle where the support and resistance levels were being tested. Support always being a higher low and resistance always being a higher high just exactly like how Tezos is doing now. So what I'm suggesting here is that we see the same expansive move, the same parabolic expansion that Litecoin did when it was worth about $62 up to $300. It's gonna come in Tezos as well. Now Tezos is worth $3, so we're not gonna see it go up to $200. It's not gonna be the same price levels, but it may be a very similar percentage gain and it should happen pretty quickly. As you can see, Litecoin moved up pretty quickly here. Now it took longer. This accumulation is technically longer through the period of years than this accumulation is, but it doesn't matter. If you look at what a fractal is, they're the same pattern and they appear as different sizes. So you can have the same market cycle and one of them is gonna be bigger than the other one so you'll have to stretch them to where they look like the same size on your chart. But technically, yes, Tezos is a bigger fractal, a bigger market cycle because it took more time to form. But because I've compared them and ratioed them to the same size, they look like they're the same size. So yes, you can still compare even if there's a difference in time because that's another question that I get a lot about comparing market cycles and fractals. So this expansion, this parabolic expansion is going to happen. Like I said, it will happen fast. Now in Litecoin, that happened in the period of a couple months. This is a bigger fractal, so it may happen in the period of five, six months, a year. I'm not going to try to say exactly how long. That's not the purpose of this analysis. The purpose of this analysis is to show you a high probability projection based on what I've seen in fractals, what I've seen in market cycles before, to give you guys some hopium that Tezos is ready to break out and to assure you guys that I'm not bearish, I still see a lot of bullish price action coming in crypto. And uh, this is the type of structure that I'm seeing that leads to that type of bullish price action. So it's a very exciting time to be trading crypto, you guys. And I do expect a huge expansion in Tezos to happen. Now, if you don't have TradingView Pro, you can isolate, you can go look at only the Litecoin chart, and then you can go over and you can pull this bars pattern tool. And what you do is you measure a section of the chart that you want to copy. Again, on TradingView free, you're only going to be able to use one chart at a time. So you'd have to go over to Litecoin, copy the section, come back over to Tezos, and then paste it. Uh, but you can still measure fractals. I'm actually going to measure the, the whole thing. Even though they're not perfectly identical, I still think it'll be more useful to measure the entirety of, this, of the fractal. Okay, then I copy this, paste it right here, and drag this out. Okay, and get these two to line up. Now I'm going to only... So what I did was I copied Litecoin. I copied the candlesticks on Litecoin from when the beginning of the market cycle started to when the top happened. Now that I have that copied and placed on Tezos, I can delete the chart in the background. 
and make this one a little bit more visible for you guys. Like this. And you will see, this is what I mean by yes, these market cycles are shockingly similar to each other. They're not exactly the same, but they do rhyme. The same structure that formed on Litecoin in the past is forming on Tezos today. Tezos is undervalued according to this. And although this is my trading journal, you guys can come back to this video a year later, whatever, and see whether I was right or wrong. So this isn't financial advice, it's my trading journal. But that being said, this is a high probability pattern. This is a high probability fractal. And this is something that I have a personally high degree of confidence that this is going to play out. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to be hesitant to invest right here. But once you understand these cycles, you get really excited. <laughs> you get excited when other people are maybe still a little bit fearful because um, the majority of people will want to be invest. Well, the majority of people will end up investing at the top, sadly, instead of down here or even back here when I first started talking about Tezos, when it was very, very undervalued. So you guys, I personally think a lot of growth is coming in Tezos. And by the way, just because I'm expecting it to expand up like this, how Litecoin did, does not mean that it can't return into another bull market later. And once it's done doing a correction after that expansion, it doesn't mean it can't see more continuation in the future. Um, for anybody that's wondering if it's over or undervalued. So let's run over Bitcoin really quick here and then we will call it a day. Uh, mainly to run over the short-term price action. There's going to be people wondering, oh, is Bitcoin dead? Uh, you talked about a horizontal support level of an ascending triangle. Does this mean that Bitcoin has failed that support level? No, you guys. Support and resistance is a zone. Just because I have a horizontal line drawn as one major area of support and resistance does not mean that there isn't resistance slightly above or support slightly below. So for me, I do not focus on short-term trading because of the fact that there's lots of bots, there's lots of algorithms shaking people up. So as far as the short-term price action that we're seeing here with Bitcoin coming back on the support, it's still support. It's still a major support zone. Nothing has changed. Stand by my analysis and I expect the short term to recover over the next week um, as the support level holds on Bitcoin. We have a lot of coins doing reversal patterns, a lot of coins landing back on the support. So I'm not going to let the short term shake me out of my coins. So you guys, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming in Bitcoin and Tezos. I am very excited about the price action that this market has set up. Uh, we're going to make a lot of money as things explode, as these trading patterns play out. And I'm very excited about that. You guys, again, there's still some open opportunities for the mastermind. Just click the links in the description below and you can apply for that. And either I will get on the phone with you or my cousin Monson will get on the phone with you. And we'll get you guys set up inside of the mastermind program. I do have some new members this week. I'm very excited to do their first session this Saturday. And I'd love to have some more new members coming in this Saturday. Why am I doing it? to help people make their first 100,000, their first million. So I'm generally looking for people that have $5,000, $10,000 portfolios, because I know for a fact those are in the range that I can help you make your first million in a pretty quick period of time. It's a three month program. So you watch me turn $10,000 into $100,000 inside of that portfolio. If I don't reach that level, I do extend you until that level is reached. It's just part of the way that I do things. So if you guys are in the mastermind now and you're wondering, Dallin, you know, um, I'd like to see $100,000 gains or I'd like to see 10x in my portfolio. And you're wondering if you're going to get there within the next three weeks, six months or whatever. Just understand the purpose of this is to help you reach your first 100,000, your first million. So if I haven't reached the first $100,000 in that portfolio, I do extend your membership out until that level is reached. So it's really just about you reaching your goals and me walking along with you as you do that and showing you how me and my friends have done the same thing. So thank you guys for tuning in today's video. I look forward to seeing you guys in those future updates. And as always, stay profitable out there.